With the current situation that's going on, you may be parked, your truck's not operating, and there's certain things that are going on that is gonna require you to take some additional steps to get your truck in the proper mode before you put it into storage. So I'm gonna give you five tips that's gonna help you put your truck into this storage mode. The first tip that we give you is to change your oil and to add fuel stabilizer to your system. Change your oil, make sure it's the fluid's topped off, make sure you replace your oil filters and as well fuel filters and make sure you do a full grease job on your truck before it goes into that sitting period. Also, we recommend adding a fuel stabilizer. This stabilizer is gonna stabilize the fuel to make sure that it doesn't get any water in there because of the way the heat and the way, you know, if it heats up and cools down the temperature outside. Um, so we recommend, highly recommend putting a fuel stabilizer in your fuel system. The second tip that we give you is to add a battery trickle charger to your truck. If this is possible, if you have the capability of adding power to your truck, and it's sitting for a long period of time, we definitely recommend this. This is very huge in the boating industry to put a trickle charger on your battery, and it's the same thing if your truck is sitting for a longer period of time. What happens is the battery is still gonna start draining and it's gonna draw down the current in your batteries, and what happens is you're gonna have to replace your batteries, especially if the truck sits for a long period of time. Another recommended option that we have is to use your battery shutoff switch if you have this available. Highly recommend it, especially if you're parked for a long period of time. We have about four trucks of our own that we use for diagnostics, advanced diagnostics, engineering. And what we've noticed is even if you purchase brand new trucks and you put brand new batteries in it, what happens over time if they don't have a trickle charger on it, those batteries actually go bad a lot quicker than normal. I do recommend three different trickle chargers that you can use. You can select these or select any ones that fit your battery size. And we're gonna leave that in the description below. The third tip that I'm gonna give you is to drain your air tanks. The air is the lifeblood of your truck in regards to the suspension, airbags, and we wanna make sure that even your braking system, you wanna make sure that there's no moisture in your air lines. We recommend, highly recommend uh, draining out your primary and your secondary tanks, um, as well as a wet tank. That way you can ensure that there's no moisture that builds up in there and that, that way it's fine the moment you get back on the road. The fourth tip that we're gonna give you is to monitor your belts, monitor your air pressure on your tires, monitor the hoses that are on your coolant hoses or any type of AC hoses. That way you wanna make sure that you don't have any issues the moment you take this truck out of storage mode. That way you're able to drive the truck and not experience excessive downtime because of these issues that weren't caught once you get back on the road. So I highly recommend you either do an inspection before and an inspection after. If you do find any issues before you put your truck into some type of storage mode, make sure you get those corrected or at least write them down to know what needs to get done before you get back on the road. Another thing to consider if your truck is in storage mode is that rust tends to build up. It tends to build up on the exhaust system, on the frame, on other parts of your fifth wheel. And we highly recommend you add some type of penetrating oil like WD-40 to these parts, certain parts, obviously just so it doesn't rust. The fifth and final tip that I recommend is to make sure that you get your truck exterior and interior fully detailed. This makes sure that you come to a truck that's fully freshened up and you make sure that the truck doesn't have any odd odor, when, especially if you happen to leave something that's rotten in there. So we highly recommend you do this, especially with your exterior, what thing that you can do is make sure that you apply, you fully wash the exterior of the truck and then you apply a wax and that wax is gonna protect the paint, it's gonna protect the truck in case any damage. I highly recommend you take pictures, take pictures of the exteriors or take even a video of the exterior and around the truck of where the truck is sitting. Especially if this truck is in a yard, if it's in a parking lot, in a building facility, we highly recommend you do this just to ensure that you know the insurance has a claim. If there's any damage, any truck damage whatsoever, you have coverage. Theft is something to consider during this time period, especially because your truck's sitting. So if you can put a lock on, let's say your shut off, your battery shut off, or somewhere where you can put locks certain in place where there's no theft that occurs during this time period is very important. We hope these five tips were able to help you putting your truck in storage mode and learning what it takes to get your truck out of storage mode and what to look for. If you have any questions or feedback, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.